here we're going to be looking at sidewinders, upper body movement, sinuous movement using the band to help us get more snaky. Um, and we're using the resistance bands for this. By popular demand from, from you guys and from my students who I've been doing these resistance band training with my students for many years and in my private lessons and things like that. And people are saying, oh, can you give me some videos? We can do it at home. So here you go. I thought I'd share it with all of you as well. So resistance bands. The so blue is lighter than the black. Different colors. If you want to do the training with me, you need to get a 1.5 meter band at least. So it's long enough to do some of the exercises that we're going to do. Um, so black is hardcore. <laughs> And blue is medium weight, but it depends on how you feel on the day as to which one you want to do and how strong you are, yeah? So, that was the blue issue with the black. So, we're going to do this in a few videos, different things. So, the next video will do more of the sidewind itself, but today we'll look at the figure of eight chest. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, go and check out my other videos, my Travel Fusion series on YouTube, and I've started to release them on Insta TV as well. So, you can look at them there, tutorials on how to do the figure of eight motion with the chest. We're gonna go straight in, we'll do a quick revision, but I break it down more for you in those videos. So, off we go, warm up first. Tailbone left and tummy in, chest up, shoulders back and down. And then we're going down on the right, slide on the right, up on the right, keep your shoulders down, don't lose your neck, keep the cobra neck. And down on the left, out on the left, up on the left. Down, out, up. Down, out, up. Down, out, up. Down, out, up. All of my music is by Tribal from a Trap. She's my style, Tribal Fusion, but it's also the name of artists that releases all the music. So check them out, loads of music there. Get your band in your hands. So now, you have, the closer your hands are in, and the more you pull, the more resistance is gonna be. The further your hands are away, the less resistance. So it depends on how hard you wanna work, to be, to be fair, right? So you're gonna bend the knees. Again, make sure you're sticking your bottom up. Engage the tummy, lift the chest. Shoulders are back and down, and head is floating to the sky. Cobra neck, right? Okay, let's do the chest state with the band. Now you're gonna keep your knuckles in line with your shoulders. Don't let them go with you, okay? Keep them still. Off we go. Down, out, up. Down, out, up. Down, out, up. Down, out, up. So you'll notice it becomes significantly more isolated, significantly more effort. Don't let these go with you. Keep your knuckles full and facing forward. One, two, three. So this is all the crazy stuff we go up to in my classes and in my private lessons. So if you want to come and dance with me, I'm in London, UK. And I also have online classes as well. And my online classes are an hour long each, and we film every class. So you can take the entire course with us as if you're in the class in person for 12 weeks. So each week we upload a new video, week one, week two, week three, week four, and so on and you do the class with us and we progress each week. Drills, this sort of stuff, technique, choreography, stretches, all sorts of really fun stuff that we work, we work on. So come and dance with me. Keep the chest, come through, come through, come through. Yes. Okay, relax the shoulders. Now, just take a minute just to feel how your arms feel. Make sure you're just keeping your neck the whole time. It's very easy to bring your shoulders up. Okay, so we, again in my school we call it the cobra neck. Mr. Bay dance, stop. Mr. Bay dance. Long neck. Let's go again. So, bring the arms out to the side, tummy engaged. Six, seven, eight. To the right, to the left. Make sure you're actually doing a figure of eight motion with the chest, okay? Keep your shoulders down and the neck long. Don't let your arms go everywhere. Keep the arm, the wrists or the fists in line with your shoulders. Or if you want to have it a little bit wider, have it wider. But your goal is to maintain your arms in that position. There's a workout. You should be getting really, really, really hot. Make sure your tummy is engaged the whole time and see how much you can get your chest to create the movement and see how much you can isolate. So this concludes the figure of eight motion of the chest with the band. And the next one, we'll look at the arms. So thank you, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, tell me how it feels. <laughs> Put a comment below and let me know if you can feel it and if you're enjoying it enjoying it and maybe I'll do some more videos. If not, maybe I won't. Okay, bye!